And the answer to that question is very simple. It's whichever one you prefer, whichever one fits your lifestyle and driving style the best, whichever one feels the best, et cetera, et cetera, whichever one fits your vehicle the best, looks the best in your opinion. That's the, the official answer. But how are you to know that? There's so much uh, choice. You're spoiled for choice. And, and even on uh, Momo's website and within their series, they have a racing series. They have a street series, which in some ways I think is laughable because they're very, they're very similar. But yeah, I mean, and you'll see that if you check out their website. In fact, I'll show it to you here in a bit. But yeah, I mean, it, th that's the answer. But how are you to know? right? If you're starting from scratch and you don't already have one, you have no idea. There's nothing to base it off of. And so I'm going to give you the reasons why I chose what I chose uh, and what I started out with. So I went with the Mod 69, Model 69 Alcantara. It's a racing wheel, part of their racing uh, series. That's what I went with. This is a 350 millimeter. I think it's perfect for this car. I started with a Monte Carlo Alcantara 320 mil, millimeter. This is the, the 30 millimeters of difference. That they make all the difference in my opinion. And I'll explain that uh, here. this over my previous wheel which was the Monte Carlo Alcantara 330 millimeter or 320 millimeter I can't remember which off the top of my head is the fact that this is a little bit bigger it's a little bit closer to the factory wheels in terms of size this uh, rim is a little bit thicker um, those are some of the things that I like about this a little bit more I didn't really like the yellow uh, logo on the horn button and the yellow logo here. Uh, that's something I could have done without, so maybe the uh, Monte Carlo and Alcantara 350 mil would have been better for me, but I didn't. I couldn't find that on sale uh, at the time of my purchase, and this was, I actually got a good deal on this. Um, so yeah, that's, that's a couple of the things that I like. This has like the little finger reliefs in the back as well, and it's, like I said, it's a bit thicker. So, I don't know, maybe it's a subconscious thing, but the fact that it's bigger overall and it's a little bit thicker a wheel, I, I like that, I prefer it. I feel like I have more control over the, the vehicle. Uh, maybe that's a subconscious thing, maybe that's not actually true, but I feel like I do. And I feel like the smaller wheel, believe it or not, even though it's a 30 millimeter difference, it provided a, a little too much feedback. It was almost kind of annoying. There was a little bit of a... If there was a vibration in the wheel, which there is, I think I need new axles, uh, full disclosure, but it like amplified that because it was so small, so I'd get a little shimmy in the wheel. Um, that's not the wheel's fault. It's probably something I gotta do. I gotta address with this car, but anyway. But yeah, believe it or not, that 30 millimeters makes a big difference. And I'll show you, I'll show you what I mean by that later in the video. And I'll compare it to a stock wheel as well. Maybe not a stock CRX wheel, but stock Civic wheel nonetheless of the same era. era. And you'll get to see, uh, like I will, just uh, how comparable this is to that. And, and so anyway, I just, uh, the, the last thing, and again, this might be a, a subconscious thing, but because it's bigger, it makes this rack feel a little bit slower, if that makes any sense. I feel like the wheelbase of this car is so uh, short and twitchy anyway, you don't need anything to amplify that. And this makes your motion seem a little bit more grand, you know what I mean? And uh, as a result, it creates, in my mind, a, a little bit slower feeling rack, which I prefer in this car. But again, maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm, uh, maybe I'm on another planet. Maybe none of that makes any sense.
today, but look at this. It's going to be one of those rain, sun, rain, sun, rain, sun. I mean, you can't even do anything. Fucking April. I hate April. Fuck April. Fuck spring, too. I'd rather just, look, let's just go back, let's just go right to summer, shall we? But can we just skip this bullshit? say anything to me though uh, but yeah you know it's just a cool little spot Let's see if we can find the ideal parking spot here well, the most dreaded thing to do in a Honda is park it and leave it unattended <laughs> for any reason whatsoever for any amount of time spots where no one could park right next to you on one side at least I just arrived and it looks like it's time to go well now would be a good time to compare steering wheels right why not Lex so this is my old one this is the Monte Carlo what 3 320 320 mil you can see the difference here. You can line them up. It doesn't look like much, I'll admit. It does not look like a huge difference. But it is. It really, it certainly is. I like how the Monte Carlo has more of a, the thumb indentation here. And then this part, you can barely see it, but it kind of kind of dips in a little bit here. It's a little bit thinner and more, uh, if you were to cut this open, it'd be more oblong kind of shape kind of a, more of an oval shape than a round shape like this is and it's just kind of a nice grip so that's it's one of the things I really like about the Monte Carlo uh, they list this as having a little bit deeper dish um, by a, a few millimeters I prefer this little in engraved Momo logo rather than this huge yellow whatever <laughs> And then, the, of course, the Mod 69 came with the yellow horn button, which I opted not to use. I pref much prefer the stealthy look. So I'm going to keep that on there. I'll probably paint this, um, you know, black, just so it kind of blends in. I don't need it to stand out. I don't need everybody to know that I have a Momo. It's pretty obvious just by looking at it. But yeah, this is a good wheel. It's, uh, I mean, nothing wrong with it. It's just, I, I like the feel of the larger wheel. So this in a 350 mil probably would have been perfect for me. Probably would have been ideal. Um, that said, this suede is a little bit thicker too, and they list that on the website as well, I believe, which I'll, I'll show you on the website if I think about it uh, in, the, in the rest of this video. But yeah, uh, I much prefer this one so far. 
I would uh, I would not be unhappy with the 350 mil of this version either, the, the Monte Carlo. That's one of my favorites for sure. This is a street wheel. This is a racing wheel. I mean, you can see what I mean by what's really the difference. They call this their race series. They call this their street series. There's not a lot of difference here. Um, that said, the, sh the shape is different. The, the diameter is different. Um, the grip is different. The suede is different. It is thicker. It, so there's an overall difference here in feel. And uh, I can say that uh, you will notice it. Um, if you if you uh, if you compare the two, if you if you get you know start comparing these wheels from Momo, if you get a couple of them like I did, uh, I imagine the goal is uh, for you if you're if you're watching this to uh, kind of make up your mind on one wheel and not have to buy several just to find the one that you like. So that's kind of one of the reasons why I made this video so that maybe I can help you make an informed decision on uh, you know which one to get rather than. Uh, process of trial and error with your wallet like I did <laughs> so uh, this one's a little bit different color too this is like a darker suede this is newer so I don't know maybe the Sun faded this a bit but I don't know it looks pretty uniform so um, yeah, it's just a different slightly different shade so I don't know but yeah that's my take on it guys back once again i just wanted to show you real quick this is what i started with this isn't the stock wheel for that crx it's actually a three spoke design but it is the same size from what i understand this comes out of a um fourth gen uh civic sedan uh 90 9091 i think exclusively for the four spoke design if i'm not mistaken um but this is what came in it 
this is where I'm at now. And this was the first steering wheel I bought. So you can see the size difference. I mean, clearly there's a difference, quite a difference. And uh, so I could take this one, set it on top here. And you can see the difference here all around. Not much, probably another 30 millimeter, 20, 30 millimeter, something like that. This is probably a 370 because this is a 350, all right? And then this is a three, what, 330? No, 320. This is a 320, I believe. I'll verify that on the website here in just a minute. But uh, yeah, there you have it. Monte Carlo 320 Alcantara. Uh, model 69, racing model 69, Alcantara, and stock. And just, just for reference, we will uh, we'll measure them real quick. It's measuring about 14 and 3 quarter. This one is about 13 and a half. This one is right at 12. Right about 12, just for reference. Okay, as you can see, we are here at the MoMA web website. This is the current ste steering wheel that I have. Um, just says uh, suede wrapped, thicker premium suede wrapped. And I noticed that it is thicker. Um, the back finger grooves, that's another difference that I mentioned earlier. Uh, and it does have the uh, logo on there for a pop of color it says for this yeah i'd rather it just be blacked out like the uh monte carlo was but yeah it is what it is um so it's a 350 millimeter and it looks like that's the only option for this the mod 69 uh, which is what i have black suede's the only option brush black anodized the only option so uh you'll notice here the grip section says it's 32 by 30 Make a note of that. And then the steering wheel dish is 39 millimeters. So that's kind of like how deep the dish is, uh, from my understanding. Grip shape is round, and it's for racing use. Although you could probably use a Monte Carlo for racing use, I'm pretty sure, and wouldn't matter. Uh, anyway, so then we'll go back, and then let's go to the, um, let's go to the street steering wheels here. And then if you... Let's see here. I'm gonna have to move this so you can see it. There we go. Um, <clears throat> so you have the regular Monte Carlo over here. It's only leather wrapped. And then over here you have Monte Carlo Alcantara. And that's the one that I had before. Move this back in the frame here. So yeah, um, and in this one you can get, which would have worked out just fine if I'd have got the red stitching because I have kind of a black and red theme for my car anyway. But uh, I had the all blacked out one, and I had it at 320 millimeters, but you can see that it is available in 350. So if I were to have my number one choice uh, right now today, if I were going to start over, this is probably the one I would get, just because I like it. I like the way, if you look really closely, um, let's see if we zoom in here, look really closely here, this kind of indents a little bit where your hand would rest, and then your, it's got the thumb uh reliefs there i just like the look of this it's really stealthy looking it says momo down here you can't even really see it it's just kind of uh engraved in the uh brushed anodized finish which is really nice i like the black horn button i like it just it's all blacked out i like it uh don't get me wrong i still like the uh the wheel that i got at first but i wish i would have got it in 350 millimeters instead so there's that but yeah um yeah, uh, let's see what this one says. Uh, carries over the popular sizes, red and black stitching options, blah, blah, blah. That's really all it says about it. Let's see here, 32 by 28 grip section. So see, part of this, especially on the sides here, is a little bit uh, less thick. Um, the dish is two millimeters deeper, if memory serves, and the grip is still round, it says. But yeah. Those are really the differences other than size, and then um, you'll see in this other clip that I...